I'm Jonathan L. Walton, the Dean of Wake Forest University School of Divinity and the beautiful Wake Chapel. When offering a benediction, I often begin with the words of the hymn writer, Jenny Bain Wilson. Time is filled with swift transition. And then I move into my own play on the words of 19th century Swiss moral philosopher, Henri Frédéric Camille. Life is short. We never have too much time for gladdening the hearts of those who travel this dark journey with us. So be swift to love. Make haste to be kind. My aim is to emphasize a simple point. Tomorrow is not promised. Nor ought we expect the coming days to resemble whatever relative comfort, safety, and security that we feel in a given moment. So let's share God's love, God's goodwill, God's kindness and compassion right now while we have a chance. Because we never know how and when we'll need this reflected back to us. Now, of course, of all the scenarios that I could imagine, I can't say that a global pandemic ever crossed my mind. But such is life. And here we are. So what do we do? Well, I think the writer Anne Lamott has it right. She says there are three words that we can pray during tough times. Help, thank you, and wow. To yell help is to acknowledge our fragility and finitude. It's to acknowledge that we are all inextricably linked by a common fabric of humanity. To yell help is to know that we've all sat under trees planted by someone else and drank from wells dug by another's hands. We need one another. And to acknowledge that need is to express our appreciation. That's why we say thank you. We acknowledge the gift of life of one another and the gift of mutual interdependence that sustains us. Whether you're a student, whether you're among the beautiful souls in dining services, a faculty member, those who empty trash and sanitize the bathrooms, and of course, healthcare workers who stand sacrificially on the front lines of this pandemic. Our existence is made possible by the love and labor of someone else. Moments of crisis expose the false claims of our rugged individuality. And this is why we say, wow. Because as crazy as life may seem right now, with each moment, if we pay attention, miracles disrupt the mundane and precious people speak life, joy, and hope into our circumstances. Help, thank you, and wow. These prayers remind me to be swift to love. They remind me to make haste to be kind. And they should remind us all that time is filled with swift transition. Amen and one love.